All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create this label for a potato chip bag. We're creating a custom potato chip bag. And here's what the potato chip bag looks like when the um, edges are serrated and the bag is complete. Obviously I don't have anything in the bag, but um, I wanted to show you how you can create the bag. Um, if I got this suggestion for creating this off of my YouTube channel. Um, I've actually never um, created one of these. I've never even seen them, but I think they're pretty clever and cute. Uh, and I do monitor the chat lines. Please subscribe to my channel and or like any of all my videos. Um, but somebody did recommend that and I actually looked online and I found this video on how to ma make a chip bag by Lawanda Davis. Um, and it's a pretty good tutorial walking you through how to create a potato chip bag. And I say it's pretty good because I was able to do it for my first try. And it's pretty clever. She actually uses um, a Ziploc bag in order to make the potato chip bag resealable, which again, I think is pretty clever. Obviously, if you're putting potato chips in or anything that is going to be oily or leak through, you're gonna to wanna to line the bag. Um, but again, pretty easy to follow tutorial on how to create the bags once you have made the labels. All right, so um, one more point is going back to my um, YouTube channel. I do have a video called Installing Fonts, Using Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Um, I am using some unique fonts for this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to want to do is actually get this background um, of these little emoji images. And then we'll go through and create this text box and then add these final images in there. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, Blank Document, and we want to go ahead and go to Page Layout, Orientation, Landscape. Okay. Next we want to go back up here, and I like to use Google. If you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. And I am going to type in Large Emoji Backgrounds Image and then tile. And the reason why I want to add tile is because I don't want just one large emoji. I actually want um, a lot of images, small emojis tiled. So I went ahead and clicked on images and I'm going to scroll down here until this is not exactly what I want, um, but I can go ahead uh, none of these are exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View More. Okay. And then when I click on View More, I can actually get a um, um, pretty good selection of different emojis. And here's the one I'm going to use right here. Okay. And again, that was another sort of like, I really like to use these um, related images. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to do a Save Picture As. And we're going to save this as Emoji Background 2. I already had one saved in there, but we're going to go ahead and use this one. All right, now what we want to do is we want to insert picture and we want to insert our Emoji Background 2. Okay. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to click up in here for layout options and we want to say in front of text. And the reason why we want to do that is so now we can very easily move this around. Okay. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to make this six and a half by nine. So this is by nine, so we want to make that just a bit bigger. And we want to actually make this whole thing much bigger and we're going to actually crop out a bit because if you just lengthen it, it is going to distort the, Im the um, image. So we're going to make this much bigger until we get to about six and a half. Okay, let's actually make that just, let's do 6.5, okay, and um, then what we want to do is the width we want to be um, 9, so we can go ahead and crop this, and we can go ahead and crop this, and again, do you see that little T, that little black T, I'm just moving that on over, and I'm probably going to have to get rid of at least one set of these emojis and crop those out. So we want to be at nine, and so we want to maybe crop those out, and there we are, we're at six and a half by nine. So this is um, pretty perfect for what we want. 
Um, actually, let's go ahead and crop this because there's a lot of white around there. We want to make this just a touch bigger. Let's do six and a half. Okay. And we want to do a crop. And let's just get rid of one of those. And we're going to crop this out again. I apologize, I'm using a different emoji image, so I wasn't sure how much I needed to crop here. All right, so if I click on Format now, we're at 8.7, and we're right around 9. All right, so that is right about perfect. Okay, so now that we have our image, and we have our image um, sort of aligned up here, we want to click on corrections and we want to make this just a touch lighter. There we go. There we go. We like the brightness 20 and the contrast negative 20. And again, that's just kind of lightening it up a little bit. All right, now let's go ahead and insert and create our text box. So we're going to go ahead and insert a shape and we're going to insert a rectangle. We're going to click anywhere we want on here. It doesn't matter what the size it is because we're going to go ahead and click on format. And we want to make this 4.7 by 3.7. Okay. And then what we want to do from here is we want to center that and we want to go ahead and do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of black. And then with the shape outline, if this um, format shape isn't shown for the shape outline, you want to click on weight and you want to click on more lines because what we want to do is we want to change the width to a 10 point width. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and right click and we can do copy and then we can right click and we can go ahead and do a paste. And we want to move this right over that and we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill for this second box. And we want to change this to a 5.5 width and we want to change the color to pink. Okay, and again, you can really change, oopsies, yeah. And again, you could change it to really any color you want. Um, I like this pink, and I had this pink in my saved colors. How I got that pink was I went ahead and clicked on the more colors, and it was this color right here. But you can also do custom colors, and you can get very granular in what you want, but I like that color. Okay, finally, we want to ensure that this pink box is selected and we want to right click and we want to do a copy and then we want to right click and then we want to do a paste again. But what we want to do for this is we want to add those yellow dots. So we're going to go ahead and make this yellow and we want to change the lined or round dots and instead of the flat we want them to be round. Okay, So that's how you can create that fun little frame. All right. Next, what we want to do is we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box. And let's just go ahead and draw it right here. And we want to do a shape fill of this text box of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to write O M G. It's JoJo's eighth birthday. Okay, and we want to um, highlight the OMG, and the font that I used for this is Bodini MT, and the size of this is 72. And the color is that same hot pink, and I actually added an outline. Okay, so again, all of this is under the Home tab, changing the font, changing the size, changing the color, and adding the outline. And of course, we want to center this. All right, the um, it's, and again, we want to center that. It's actually Calibri, and it is a 24-point font. JoJo's eighth birthday is Return to Sender, and the font for this is 60. Okay, and obviously we want to center that. And birthday, the font I used was Curls MT, and I made that a 48 point font and I centered that, okay? Next thing we wanna do is, cause we wanna get that emoji in there, we would kinda wanna move everything down. 
Um, actually, let's change the colors first, and I'll show you how to do that. So the JoJo's um, is actually a purple color, and then the birthday is this blue color. Okay. So now the line spacing. What you want to do is you want to highlight all of these. Again, home tab is selected, and you want to go over to paragraph line and paragraph spacing options. And you just want to change this to zero and single. Okay, and that's going to move everything a little closer together. And um, what you want to do is um, add a space or a paragraph, if you will, in between there, but that's really big. So what you want to do is because this is a 72 point font, you just want to move this down to like, I don't know, maybe 48, and then that'll kind of move, yeah, maybe not quite 48, 36, then we could do that. Um, and that'll kind of move it down a little bit, all right? And then the final two things we need to do is we need to grab the large emoji. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna say, large emoji dot png and the reason why we want the dot png is because we want um and here it is we want uh we don't want white background around it right because it's going to be you know showing over and in between different images that we have and i'll show you that in a second but if you see this gray and white that means that there's no white border around this like this one has white border around this this is gonna have nothing, it's gonna be transparent. So all you're gonna do is get the image. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna do save picture as emoji. And from here, let's go ahead and do birthday emoji. And we're on images and let's see. I don't think there was a good PNG, so we're just gonna do birthday emoji. Here it is. And here's our image. And oh, it is a dot PNG, great. So we're gonna go ahead and do save picture as, and we're gonna do birthday. Um, it is a PNG, which is great. All right, so let's go ahead and go back here. And finally, we wanna insert picture. And let's insert this picture and again we can't see it so we need to go ahead and click up here and do in front of text for changing the layout options and as you can see again we don't have that white background that's what I was talking about all we have is the um, image okay so we're gonna go ahead and go over here and we're gonna turn this to the side and then what we want to do is this text box we want to right click and we want to say bring to front okay Finally, we just need to enter and insert our last picture, which is our birthday. And again, we want to right click on here or we want to click on that little layout options and say in front of text. And we want to move this down and we want to move this this way. And we could make this just a touch smaller. And once again, we want to click and we want to say bring to front. All right, so that's how you can create this um, really cute potato chip bag label. Again, if you need to know how to actually make the bags themselves, um, I found this video on YouTube on how to make um, the actual potato chip bags, which again, I've never um, seen before, but they're really, really cute, and I'll probably use them for uh, my next event. Again, please like any and all of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I do monitor the chat line, so please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks so much.